Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. These reads are for entertainment purposes only, so take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't apply. If you enjoy this reading, let me know Gemini by liking, sharing and or subscribing if you haven't already done so. A big shout out to each and every one of you who continue to show up and support me here on the platform. Thank you so much. Uh, Gemini, as you can see in front, we've already laid out some cards. Uh, we will unpack those together, but I thought we would kick off the read using a Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle card just to get an overall feel and vibe of what you can expect in the upcoming days and week regarding your love life. Um, do stick around to the end though. I always draw an animal spirit card just to get some extra messages regarding your special person or the person in question here today. If you are single coming into this read, Gemini, stick around. Messages will still apply. This could be in regards to the person that is coming in for you. Okay. If you would like to work with me, guys, let me know. Um, all the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section just below this video and I am on other platforms as well so if you would like to connect with me on those platforms uh, by all means feel free to do so okay so the card that's coming through for you you've got the why card okay so it's a question why so this is the overarching energy um, in the upcoming week uh, surrounding your relationship surrounding maybe the situation that you are finding yourself in um, this question of why could be why uh, did this person have to do this why was I meant to meet this person why am I having to experience this again okay so it is about questions it could also be a week of asking questions, Gemini. So if you don't ask, you don't know. So I do feel that this, um, this upcoming week will be a week where you might need to ask your special someone a question or ask them questions because you're curious. I mean, you're, you're Gemini, you're the sign of the astro twins. It's all about communication, right? Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Gemini. Uh, we are in Gemini season, yay, I'm really excited. Uh, Mercury has gone retrograde into Gemini um, and that touches my third house of communication. So I'm a little bit excited about that. And as you can see, Gemini, have you, can you see I've got the, the twinsy owls out for this love read? <laughs> um, anyway, gone off topic, but you know, you are a curious sign. You're ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is all about communication. It's all about, you know, words, writing, letters. Maybe, you know, there's a love letter. Maybe you need to write a love letter. Maybe you need to write out how you feel in a journal. Um, yeah, so ask questions, guys. This is a week of asking questions. If there's something that you want to know, um, it is best to go straight to the person, straight to the source. Um, I also get with this Y card that it could be a, a spiritual lesson here. Okay, it could be a spiritual lesson for someone here. It could be your person asking, why did I, why did I have to act this way or be this way? So they, someone's getting to know themselves here or someone's getting to know the other person well here in the upcoming week right it's about getting to know each other on a deeper level on a spiritual level so let's take it now over to the tarot cards you've got the page of pentacles here the five of cups the three of cups the eight of pentacles the justice and the queen of wands with the justice card you could be dealing with a libran with the Queen of Wands, it could be Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Now, what I'm getting here with the Page of Pentacles, you can see um, this page is standing on one foot. Okay, he's balancing out on one foot, which tells me that um, it feels unsteady. It feels um, like the situation or how you're feeling, uh, the relationship, it feels unsteady. For the most part, it feels like it's all right. But remember, this page is only balancing on one foot. So there's something a little bit off here. Okay. Why does he, why is he balancing on one foot? Why isn't he standing on both feet? Okay. Um, so there's an ungrounding energy coming through with this page of pentacles. Mm. and yeah it just feels like still I'm getting like uncertainty coming through with the page of pentacles you know it is a page so there's an element of insecurity coming through with this page um so it's uncertain I feel maybe a little bit insecure I'm still not really sure of where this relationship or this connection is going I still don't feel very solid and safe in this relationship that yeah there's a strong um insecurity or an uncertainty and an imbalance still felt here in the upcoming week moving along you've got the five of cups Okay, there's this void. When I look at this Five of Cups, there's a hole in the ground and that's res representing some kind of a void. Okay, something's missing. Um, there's a lack here. And I'm, I'm getting regret. Okay, so there could be someone feeling regretful here, feeling remorseful. Um, you know, this relationship or this connection could still feel like it's on shaky ground. I don't feel like it's quite solid yet. Um, but I still feel due to this Five of Cups, okay, there's still emotions um, that have been stirred up here. Uh, they're still very much alive. They're still very much felt here in, in, the, in the here and in the now uh, for one of you or maybe for both of you. So I feel like that's creating that, um, that imbalance, right? Or that uncertainty. You've got the Three of Cups here. Um, I feel like maybe some time together, spent together, uh, will be very good for you both if you are in a partnership here. Um, I do see, you know, a casual encounter here or just sort of hanging out as friends. Um, yeah, just hanging out, you know. It's not... Three of Cups isn't serious energy. It's more lighthearted. Um, it's more like, let's go and have some fun. You know, let's mingle. Let's do something together. Let's get out and just do something, okay? Something more on the casual side, okay? It's not serious energy here. But you can see there's three people here. Um, they're supporting each other. So... Just note, Gemini, that um, for some of you, there is a supportive network of people around you that can really support you through maybe what you're feeling um, in the upcoming days and week, okay? For others of you, you do have someone here that does care about you, okay? The Three of Cups, it's it's a caring energy. You know, I, I, I like you. I care about you. Um... I'm listening to you. Um, how can I support you? Okay. So I, I, I feel here too, Gemini, it's about, within this connection, it's about being friends and coming from that angle in the upcoming week. It's like, how would you treat your friends? is how to treat this connection or how to be in this relationship. First, be good friends. Can you be good friends to each other? Can we be good friends to each other? Right? 
You've got the Queen of Wands here too. Um, I feel this is a positive energy with the Queen of Wands. Um, there is passionate energy coming through this card. Okay, so the, the passion uh, for one another is still there. Uh, the excitement is still there. There's just this undertone of regret or remorse. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing in the Queen of Wands, like all these candles are lit up. So I feel like someone will, someone in this connection is inspiring the other. Okay, inspiring the other to do better, be better, show up better. Um, there's a certain influence coming through with this Queen of Wands. So one of you could be influencing the other, maybe through uh, the use of questions, maybe through the use of asking questions that could influence the other person to really, you know, step it up. The Queen of Wands is also like the star of the show. So if there are questions being asked, that person's going to feel like the spotlight is on them. Okay, so um, yeah, I just feel like this is going to be something that you're going to experience. It could be your person asking you questions. So maybe all of a sudden the spotlight's put down, put on you. Or maybe you're the one that's coming in asking your partner questions and all of a sudden the spotlight's going to be put on them. That's how I'm kind of seeing it. And it can, it might maybe throw your person off a little bit. But we've got the beautiful justice card coming through. So um, wrongs being made right here in the upcoming week. Okay, so there is this beautiful balance coming through uh, within an already existing relationship or partnership here. I do feel like things will even out, you know, so we've got this imbalance coming through, but there will be this beautiful harmony and um, balance coming through in the upcoming week, okay? Might start off a little bit shaky, but as the week moves on, you'll start to feel like you're both moving into more of an aligned um, energy with each other. Okay, there may be even a little bit of mirroring going on here. I do feel with the Eight of Pentacles um, that this is rebuilding on the connection, rebuilding the relationship, building upon what you already have together or someone just working on themselves, improving on themselves um, by coming through as supporting you, um, especially if they did something that they are not happy about. They're kind of just putting the effort in here with the Eight of Pentacles. So let's get some more messages surrounding your person. I feel like, Gemini, there's, some, there's a good time with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups, I feel like there's, there's a social setting that's going to make you feel good. You're going to be in each other's company and it feels really good. It feels good. It might be even what you both need at this time, right, is just to spend some time together, go out and have fun together. Beautiful. I really like that your person's coming through as the wolf spirit. The downward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent Earth. So it could be a strong Earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be someone that you work with here. I mean, we do have the Eight of Pentacles coming through here. So this could be someone that you work with. Um, but it's also someone that you can work with. You can work with the wolf energy, right? This is like, okay, we're, we're, we're a team now. Let's work on this together. And the wolf is um, coming through as a leader, okay? Um, he's taking ownership. He's taking responsibility. He's fulfilling obligations here. The wolf is known as the teacher, 
um, in this deck. So I feel like this person has learnt maybe a very valuable lesson um, and they're continuing to improve on themselves. They're still continuing to work on themselves and they will they will um, show this to you. You, you will witness this um, this week. Time and time again, this person will prove to you that they're really trying here, okay, and that they are taking responsibility. And there is a maturity coming through with the wolf as well. The wolf also is coming through as protective and supportive, and that's that energy that I felt in the Three of Cups. Okay, they are going through a period of transformation. Okay, this has been maybe a, a spiritual lesson for this person. Um, whatever they've regretted here, it has been a, a spiritual lesson for them. Okay, they've had to learn something. Um, I'm hearing sinkhole, okay, maybe they did go through some kind of dark night of the soul, they had to go there, okay, sometimes we have to hit rock bottom um, to have those breakthroughs and I feel like um, that person is definitely having some major, major breakthroughs with that wolf energy. So there we have it, um, Gemini, I hope this was insightful and useful and until next time, take care.